Howdy folks, and welcome to this Let's Play of Civilization VI, episode number 20. Last episode we had lots of focus on actually expanding our research, of course, but also on basically finding out where we could potentially position additional great works. So today's focus will just carry on with some of that. I'm really looking to basically understand where I've got all my military units here as well. So I want to basically move this musket into on my city so it means I need to be able to select it which I can only probably do in one of my turns I well, actually can upgrade them from here if I wanted to so let's do that do I want to delete them I'm gonna skip his turn for the moment being this guy here, what can I do with him? Two, three, so it's outside of the range of that city there. It's within the range of this city here though. And actually having a farm there would help me increase my food output. Um, let's go for that food output indeed for the moment being. Good. Now I did say earlier that in, I think it was Thebes I could do that, I could build myself an archaeologist. And I wasn't really looking to get myself an archaeologist because I was running out of archaeologists. Or it got lots of old buildings I could do stuff with, but yeah, not really anything useful. Unit needs orders here, there's a military engineer here. I want to remove that fort from there, Roman fort. It's got no real purpose anymore. It was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago. If you look at the fortification now, what it looks like compared to what it looked originally, it's, it's a big change. Is totalitarianism. Gunboat policy. Open borders between all city states and plus four influence points per turn towards earning envoys. Min. Martial law. Third alternative. Plus four gold from each research lab, military academy, and power plant. Ah, interesting. So let's have a look at those. Trade routes, triangular trade, heritage. Each city receives a plus one culture for each specialty district it has. And a new one I just got here should be marked as new. Interesting. Diplomatic slots are empty. How comes? The trade routes to an ally city. We see. Okay. Enemy spy level reduced by two in your lands. However, all cities suffer a minus one amenities. Mackie Matt Valison, which basically gives me extra production towards spies. Hmm. Both diplomacy. <laughs> Open borders with all city states and plus for influence per turn towards earning envoys. Okay, let's go for that. I'm quite inclined to put this one in there instead of what I had before. So I'm just, I've got two, four. Two I was producing there. Ah, <clears throat> listening post. <clears throat> so ten out of eleven. So ah, I can choose one again. That's basically what it's saying. So where would I get the most benefits in Peterburg? It looks like. 
choose a new Civic to focus in on. I'm going to do the nuclear program. I'm going to do the uh, lighthouse here, I'm reckoning. Cool. This guy's been upgraded. Let's have a look at in, in that city here. I've got in that city on the other continent a military unit, an infantry corps. Now, it's not anything big to write home about, but I will basically merge it with this guy here, I think. Cool. So our archaeologist here has got movements. Antiquity site that I want to basically go for. <clears throat> no tech to steal, which... Makes sense. Okay. Now I have to create and maintain more trade routes than before. Yes, I noticed that. Let's go on to the next turn. But there is some other lands here that I could potentially put some further colonies into. Have I got other islands here in the sea somewhere that I could put anything on? It doesn't look like it, does it? Now Vilnius is there. There is a antiquity site there. These are mountainous ranges. Nothing down here in terms of islands. Now, so that means that these islands here are really my only recourse for getting extra land in my hands there unless i put another city up here which i could potentially do but it will to some extent clash with this city here so one two three so one two three put it there one two three that would not clash it looks like one two three there that's a good position then one, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, we'll clash with Thebes, it looks like. All right, let's do some great works here. There we go, that's the new one that we just created. Created by Edgar Allan Poe. So, is there some kind of theming occurring on these? It doesn't look like it, is it? So, writing is just writing as such. How comes this amphitheater is bigger than that one, though? Amphitheater. Maybe it's because it was built in a different era? Not sure. Okay. Our artillery is here. I'm going to fortify it in that position there. Now, I do want to remove this improvement here. Look at the speed of that guy. Or the two guys, actually. Wow. You can do two builds. Civil engineering. Aim for the moon. If you miss, you made it. Research has been completed. <clears throat> Have the globalization civic. I don't have that. Um, I'm quite inclined to go for this one here. Now, let's have a brief look at our naturist. Where could I place the naturist? I can't place him there. What 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 is the purpose of the naturist? Must be in a valid national park tile. What 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 is a valid national park tile? I still don't know. Any of you that are listening, please. Could you just give me some advice on, about the uh, valid national park tiles? I might even look it up on my phone. Civilization 6, valid national park tile. Okay, so what's the valid national park tile? So I must find four tiles. Tiles must be natural. 
Ah, must be natural wonders, mountains, or a town with an appeal or charm of charming or better. As you can see, the top are both breathtaking and the bottom ones are part of a great barrier reef. All four motels must be owned by the same city. Really? Okay. The tiles for a diamond shape. All tiles are connected close to each other in a diamond shaped pattern. Okay. Interesting. So I could potentially do that with... Have I got any natural wonders here? That's the question then. Hmm. Good question. I don't think I have got any of that. Um, in the meantime, I want to basically get myself another builder. Choose production. Arena. Amenity from entertainment. Yep, let's get that. Naturist. Why, why did I ever get the naturist to start off with? Because, of course, having a national park somewhere makes absolute sense. Well, I know this right, the next piece of great work. So that's also been placed into there. So I've now got a nice boost in that city there. So we've got 16 great works. I've got basically 99 tourism. Wow. Let's have a brief look at our tourism that is occurring at the moment. Um, where do I see that properly? World ranking. Culture. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've got a high level of domestic tourism. Your visiting tourists represent a number of people citizens that you've attracted from the domestic tourist pool of other civilizations. Our, visit, uh, our visitors from... Okay. So I've got a substantial number of people that could be tourists, as well as actually have drawn other peoples into here. Now what happens if I reach that top level there? I'm not sure. To achieve a cultural victory, you must attract a visiting tourist by generating high amounts of culture and tourism. Victory is achieved when you attract more visiting tourists to your civilization than any other civilization has domestic tourists at home. Ah, so the, the benchmark here is 76 because that's the domestic level. So 58 out of 76 at the moment. Dominion, at the moment we have conquered a single other civilization which has been course the Egyptians now to achieve a dominion victory we must have conquered the capital of every other civilization it's about the, con the, the the capital it's not necessarily about all the cities it's about the capital and in terms of religion to achieve a religious victory your relig uh, religion must become the predominant religion for every civilization in the game <clears throat> okay so yeah no not gonna work Culture, science. Science, we are relatively decent far on our way for that. Build spaceport, research rocketry, launch Earth satellite. And this is a research satellites, launch moon mission. And this is, okay, Mars hydroponics. Okay, so units. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with the naturist. So what if I delete that unit? Let's keep them for now. Even if he's sleeping or she's sleeping, it's still better than nothing, I would say. Gonna move over there. Let's move on to the next turn. We've earned one envoy, good. Now this city requires me to get more amenities. I can understand that. Antium needs additional housing. <clears throat> and also more amenities. Cool, so we can actually start digging up whatever is in here. Choose which nation's artifact to uncover from this site. <clears throat> Mohenjo Daro, which I've never come across as a nation, but that's fine. 
Ooh, a scroll. <clears throat> Ancient artifact displayed in the archaeological museum in Thebes. Well, let's have a look at that. A scroll. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on, let's have another look there. So, Thebes. That's the city where I originate. So, it's got something to do with having a museum of that correct type. So the archaeologist is linked to the museum, it looks like. <clears throat> Scythia is looking to found a city with their new trained settler. Okay, that's fine. Now the reason I built this unit here is because I actually got these crabs out in the sea. And I actually am not using them yet. So I really wanted to put some use to that. I will be building here a sewer. Perfect. So this guy here has finished doing its job. visit that site over there see what we can find there <clears throat> trigger a eureka for a rocketry still our mission so perfect I'm building that option there to basically get these crabs in what can we build next in Rome? We can build a zoo. Amenity from entertainment. Victory Academy will also give me additional gold, science, production, etc. We're going to go for the zoo first. Setia, what do we want to build here? A research lab could work potentially. can we build here next? We can build a hangar there. There's additional production, but we're first going to go for the lighthouse. Gives us extra food and so forth from the sea there. Got ships moving through here with, of course, my infantry as well as my military engineers. German frigate. <laughs> it's so funny to see a frigate right next to a destroyer there. Such old school stuff, but yeah. It's all part of the game. Greek have adopted the military policy alliance. Okay. Inspiration. With a dedicated research lab in place, your in initiative to recruit scientists into nuclear research program can commit the children of the nuclear age that actually has caused and straight away to complete hard to love. nuclear espionage spies who steal a tech boost without being detected gain an extra boost nobel prize for a great person which is a purple okay let's choose production here in the city first can't build an entertainment square here unfortunately because we need to have more people in the city first now I could potentially build another neighborhood here at the cost of one of the other buildings that I've got up and running at the moment I'm not inclined to do that for the moment being all tiles in your civilization gain to appeal all right no not gonna do that one Actually, I could potentially do Hermitage. Well, what's the, what's the Hermitage say? Must be built along a river. Why is that only those two? There's other spots here, but okay, never mind. The Cristo Redendo. What's the benefit or prerequisite? Tourism outputs from a relic and uh, holy sites is not diminished by other civilizations who have researched the enlightenment civic okay 
<clears throat> okay. Oh, I've got trade capacity, so I'm going to build a trader here. Choose another item of production. I can go for a market if I wanted to, or a seaport, or a... Let's go for the market. Extra gold is always welcome. 290 at the moment per turn. What shall we go for next? We get recommended to professional sports. Ooh, stadium. Let's go for that one. Next one here hopefully will be the crabs. Let's have a look at this city here. Let's help them in terms of getting the granary in there. Helps them grow because of course they will have some extra food production in there. Can I do that multiple times? Can I help them with multiple buildings in a single turn? It doesn't look like it, does it? No. Right, so that's fine. So this city here at the moment is producing a lighthouse. If I were to look at what I can actually help them out with, I don't have... Well, I should have enough funds to build something, but... No, we're not going to do that one. Lighthouse, again, I could help them out with if I wanted to. But no, again, that's not going to be what I'm focusing on. This one here, though, has got the ability for me to build... I should be able to build an airplane, but I just don't have enough gold at the moment in reserve need more housing in this city here which okay I understand increase trade route capacity yeah fine need additional amenities okay that's fine because we're building a zoo there now Austria needs additional amenities that's fine this one needs additional amenities that's fine as well Right, and there they need additional amenities as well. <coughs> There's always additional amenities they need somehow or another. Complete a trading post. Need, unit needs orders here. Let's go and excavate this. <coughs> Alright, let's choose one for Jerusalem. A mask. Right, theming is two, so that's an ancient artifact, another ancient artifact, so that's good. Good, so what else could I do with this builder here? I've still got two uses to him. Go on to land there. Ostia. I can't build the entertainment until I basically I'm in a bigger city first. Which is fine. So in the meantime, let's first build ourselves a unit here. What are we gonna build? Let's say we wanna build ourselves a hmm. We haven't got an aerodrome district. Modern era support unit adds plus range to adjacent bombard strength unit. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna build one of those. So we do have a trader here now. Novgorod, which is that city there. Quite inclined to actually go for the Greek city here. got a trade route with them yet so that's a good thing I guess extra housing neighborhood etc 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 okay so this guy here there's nothing that gets recommended for him at the moment let's just go into the hills there then this guy here let's go to the 
acquisition uh, antiquity site there. I think I did already say I wanted to build an extra settler, didn't I? So let's build that extra settler here. Too many units of the same class in the city. Francis Drake is already here. But it's all about this guy here, that's the issue. That is a... what is he actually? Eureka moment for the printing technology. Okay. It doesn't say what it is that he is. Trade route. Doesn't necessarily list these in order of where actually get the most benefit, does it? St. Peterborough, though, does seem to give me a good amount of benefit. Gain 75 gold on standard speed. Military units gain 50% reward from plundering sea trade routes. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Now, I did say earlier that I wanted to buy a other settler here. Reduce the size of the city, which is good, because at least my amenities requirements should be a little bit less. Hold on. You need to, after a shift in envoys, you are no longer the suzerain of Lisbon city state. Okay. That's a core. That is just infantry. Infantry core, infantry. Form an army. <clears throat> Would that actually benefit me somehow? What's, ah, yes, this strength increases. Cool. I've now got an army. Which now should be, yes, higher strength. Good. This city, what kind of... Okay, there we go. I did say I wanted to build another city up here, didn't I? So, one, two, three. Yeah, I was going to clash over there, but that, that's okay for the moment being, I guess. And this city here, now, we have got in here quite a bit of useful stuff. Power plant would be useful to have. Hangars would be useful to have. Commerce hub would be useful to have as well. The air district. Um, yeah, that would actually get the benefits straight from two places. Yes, sorry, I do. Alright, Military Academy. Let's finally get that one built. Been looking at that for ages here now. Now again, I think it might be useful for us to call it a day at the end of the next turn. Let's this city build one more district than the population allows. Oh, interesting. I should maybe do that over here. So get that naturist back into that city there. Now let's get our archaeologist to excavate there. Let's see. The archaeologist has uncovered signs of an ancient tribal village encountered by the Egyptians. The era. The uh, discovery appears to have been buried since the classical era. After some study, it is determined that this artifact is from Egypt. Created by Cleopatra. So, at the moment, there is no theming there because this is a classical one, whereas the other ones are ancient. Okay. Ancient, ancient, ancient. So, different eras. So, 
Okay, I still get my tourism and everything from there, which is good. Let's have a look at my dom domination here and culture. 68 out of 81. Germany's got a massive amount of internal tourists at the moment, as you can see. Gonna fortify that unit in my city here. This guy here, what do I wanna do with him? Hmm. Right, let's build another mine there. There's nothing else we can really do there. I can build an airstrip potentially. Let's have a look. Airstrips, can I only build that in my own borders or outside of the borders as well? So let's see. One, two, three. So can I build it up there, for example, an airstrip? It would be useful. Well, actually, it actually wouldn't be so useful up there, but it's just an experiment for the moment being. I did just a minute ago say that we had to basically come to an end of this uh, session, so I will do that in just a second. Ah, cool. We spotted barbarians. Isn't it simply seagulls that flock to our shores now? If we build a seaside resort, we may be able to benefit from this new attraction to the ocean. Radio is the theater Ooh. of the mind. Television is the theater of the mindless. <laughs> cool, there we go. Let's destroy or engage in that galleon. And I thought I would have been able to destroy it within a single go, but no. Unfortunately not. So sleep in that unit there. This guy here, Seaside Resort. Finally I can put some good use to this. <laughs> Pokorovka. Yeah, that's to get some benefits. Let's begin that trade route there. Choose our research. Rocketry. Spaceport district. We get our bank built there. And like I said, we need to now save the game away as being, of course, let's play. Number 20. Thanks again for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed today's session and I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.